let's uh, make a few tweaks to make the plot more crisp and uh, nicer looking. So I have a template that I use to do that. So if you go to the web page where this video is embedded, you can copy the code for the template and paste it into your code. And so if you look here, um, here I'm creating figure one, I'm clearing it, and we'll see the effect of it, of all these statements as we step through them in the debugger. And here I'm doing my plot, except that I'm assigning it to a handle called H, and then I use the handle to, spe uh, to modify, you know, what the curve looks like. So this, I can cut this and paste it here. I'll give a little space here. Okay. And, and then here I'm modifying the axis properties, as we'll see. Um, this is the label for the x-axis, so I'll call it T. This is the label for the y-axis. Um, I'll call that X. And here I can give a title for the plot. Um, I can, let me call that spring mass system. And then this, uh, we'll see what the effect of this statement is. So I'll set a breakpoint here and run the code and then step through. Okay, so you can see now that the figure one is highlighted, so anything you do from now on is going to affect figure one. So let me come back into the editor and step. And you can see this command it cleared the current figure, which is figure one, so that you start off with a fresh slate. Step. So now we have a basic plot, but we also have a handle, and we use that handle to modify the line width of this curve. Okay, so you can see now the curve is thicker. And here, GCA stands for Get Current Axis. And so we are modifying the properties of the axis. For instance, we are going to make the line thicker, we are going to change the font type, and we are going to change the font size. And you will see it affects, that will affect the fonts of these labels and also this line. <clears throat> so now you can see the effect of that. Step. So now I have label for the x-axis, label for the y-axis, title, and then axis square is going to make um, these two axes the same extent physically. So you can see the effect of that, and you can see this a little bit clearer if you maximize it. And so that gives you a better view of the, of the figure. And then you can also print it and so on. Print it, save it. So let me redock it. And come back into the editor and say continue, and that exits the the debug mode.